Alright, hi guys, welcome back to this channel. This video we will learn how to use a push button to determine the movement of our motor. So let's quickly take a look at how this works. Whenever I pu uh, push this button, the motor will rotate. So let's quickly take a look. As you can see, when I keep this pressed, there's movement, the motor rotates and when I release it, it stops. So let's quickly take a look at what all components we will require to create this circuit. So we will require a couple of jumper wires, a push button, a 330 ohm resistor, a breadboard, an Arduino Uno, a motor and the L293 d motor driver module. So let's get started with the circuit. First of all, we will take our button. It has four terminals. We will plug the button onto the breadboard like that. Once we've done that, we will take some jumper wires. We will connect a jumper wire from this pin of our push button and take it into the 5 volts of our Arduino Uno. Once we've done that, we will take our 330 ohm resistor. It will go into the other leg of our button. Next, we will take a wire and connect it from this leg of our resistor and take it into ground of our Arduino Uno. The last connection for the button is from the common pin of the resistor and the button. We will connect a wire from there into digital pin 8. Next we will take up our l 293 d motor driver and our motor itself. The motor has two wires, the black and the red wire. The black wire signifies the negative power output and the red wire signifies the positive terminal. So we will, we will take the positive wire and plug it into the L293D mo motor driver module and on the second one we will plug in the negative one let's quickly put it in there then once we've done that we, we will take this tool and rotate it until the nail is locked now it won't come out the wire is stuck that's what we want let's do the same thing for the next wire all right, once we've done that, we will take a couple of jumper wires. First of all, we will connect this wire from the first one of those pins into digital pin three. Next, we will take another wire and plug it into digital pin 4 then the L293D motor driver module has two uh, 5 volt pins so we will connect any one of them this will go into 5 volts but we've already plugged in something over there we've plugged in the button over there so what we will do for now is take the button and plug it into 3 volts and put the 5 volts for the l 293 d motor driver module. Then we will connect one of the GND pins into the GND of our Arduino Uno. So this is the circuit, this is all the wiring. Now let's quickly take a look at the code required for this circuit to work. So this right here is our program. Towards the top we have our two variables, the button value and the button. 
In our void setup, we have specified the button as an input device. In our void loop, we've basically given the command that when the button is pressed, it will basically give the command to the motor to rotate or move. So let's try to upload our program onto the Arduino Uno and see whether or not it works. Once we're done writing down the code on the Arduino IDE software, all that remains is to plug in this USB cable onto the Arduino Uno, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. So let's plug it in. Once we do that, this red light will appear on the L293 d module, which signifies that the power is being transferred to it and it is on. Once that's happened, we will know our program has been uploaded. Now what I will do is press this button and see whether or not our program responds. As you can see when I press this button, the motor moves. So this shows that we have completed our program. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. We look forward to seeing you in our upcoming tutorials. In case you're wondering where the code is, the code is always going to be in the comment section of the video.